The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reports that in the United States, 8% of adults and 6.5% of children have asthma. This resulted in 5.8 million physician office visits and 1.6 million emergency department visits in 2021. And tragically, 4,145 deaths as recently as 2020. Asthma triggers are things that can cause asthma symptoms, an episode or attack, or make asthma worse. One of the more common environmental asthma triggers is mold. While mold is a natural part of the environment, Exposure to elevated levels of it in people's homes, schools, and work environments can trigger asthma for some asthmatics and cause various respiratory issues for others. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency affirms the fact that mold can trigger asthma episodes in sensitive individuals with asthma and that people with asthma should avoid exposure to it. The National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health states that inhaling or touching mold or mold spores can cause a person to become allergic to mold. The agency also reports that mold exposure can trigger asthma symptoms, including shortness of breath, wheezing, or cough in people with known allergies, and that people who do not have allergies can also become irritated. NIOSH also asserts that studies indicate that exposure to mold in the workplace can make pre-existing asthma worse. People can be exposed to mold that is visibly growing indoors, or it could be growing in places that are out of sight. The best way to control indoor mold growth is to control moisture, because mold can grow on most building materials, furnishings, and personal belongings if left wet or exposed to high humidity levels. Fortunately, there are qualified professionals available to help identify and test for indoor mold issues, remediate any growth, and implement solutions to eliminate moisture sources to help keep it from returning. These are just a few of the many things to know about mold exposure and asthma. To learn more about this or other indoor air quality, industrial hygiene, environmental health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.